Welcome back to SMP TV. I'm your host today, Esther, and then we have special guest, Kristen. Hello, I'm Kristen, and it's good to see you again, guys. Yeah, it's my first time meeting Kristen, and we are already matching. We woke up, and there was already a telepathic <laughs> connection. But anyways, enough about that. Today, we're going to talk about eye creams. Do you use eye creams, Kristen? Oh yeah, of course. It's a must-have item for me, even if it's um, quite expensive. Why is it a must-have product for you? Um, because I heard that um, after like 20s or 30s, mm -hmm. we get um, wrinkles around our eye area very easily. That is why I started to use it. Yeah, but apparently the skin around our eyes are the thinnest, and so it wrinkles the very first, and you can see like signs of aging mm. and apparently that happens in your mid-20s and some like small tips I've learned is that using like oil-based makeup remover and using q-tips and not putting so much pressure around your eye area helps prevent wrinkles as well so yeah do you think you pay a lot for yeah, because most of the eye creams are over than $100. $100? Yes. Wow. It's quite expensive. But yeah, but today we want to cover... There's so many things to talk about eye creams, basically. <laughs> and today we want to tell you guys the truth about eye creams. So, do you think we need eye cream? I think we need them. Yeah, so that's what I keep on hearing and that's what I've been taught by the media and from my friends around me. But turns out we actually don't need them. It's like an aid to help you uh, reduce wrinkles, but it's not essential to our beauty routine. Really? Yeah, oh, that's so shock. And many people think that eye cream has a higher concentration of nutrients than mm -hmm. moisturizer mm -hmm. but that's not true really yeah and it's interesting because we keep on saying that we have the thinnest layer around mm -hmm. our eyes right mm -hmm. so we actually have to use something that's lighter around our skin so if we have something that's dense and something more intense around our eyes it actually irritates it and actually another fact and something to keep in mind when you're looking for eye creams mm -hmm. they're actually really expensive and overpriced yeah, retail so price expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah so actually you need to look at the ingredients first make sure that they're healthy and hypoallergenic something that's simple and light for your eyes so yeah when you look for ingredients it can be overwhelming and you don't know what to look for basically when you look for eye creams you need to avoid these things alcohol retinol and make sure it doesn't have unnecessary colors or scent. Oh, that's mm -hmm. a good idea. Yeah, because all these designer brands, they're also very expensive, and yet they carry those ingredients that are harmful for you. So why not save and use something that's lighter and uh, better for your eye skin? I think that's a really good idea because, mm -hmm. I mean, nowadays, the people, when they buy our food, they always look at the ingredients. Mm -hmm. I think we have to do the same for our skincare product because mm -hmm. this product also absorbs into our body through um, our skin. Mm -hmm. And so what's really interesting is that moisturizer actually has very similar ingredients mm. to eye cream so as long as it hydrates and gives you elasticity you can also use it as eye cream too so make sure you check your moisturizer as well <gasps> that's a really good tip i think i have to check my ingredients of um, eye cream and moisturizer when i get home so Kristen and i are going to introduce you to some of the most cost effective eye creams today and we have Ta -da! It's the Youth Age Gold Eye Cream. And there's all the good stuff packed in here, guys. It has three different types of collagen, four different types of peptides, mm -hmm. and it really aids to hydrate and give elasticity to your eyes, which is something that I really need because I'm very dry around my eyes as well. Mm. Yeah, all around my face. And because it's so cost effective, you can use it for different parts around your face. Uh, I would personally love to use it around my smile lines because um, I'm already a little bit sagging there. <laughs> and you can use it around your neck. And basically, yeah, you can use it all around your face. Oh, really? Even though um, if you're thinking about the price, it's really good to use whole your face. Yeah, exactly. Let's open it. Oh, and also, it has gold dust in it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <gasps> mm. What does it smell mm. like? It smells nice. A little bit like flowery. Okay, I'm gonna put it on. 
I think the texture is really light. Yeah, very light. You can immediately tell it moisturizes. Yeah, and it, it absorbs so quickly. It does. Nice. It smells really nice, yeah. And it's not sticky at all. It's not sticky at all, yeah, you're right. I think it's so cool how the gold just kind of melts in your hand. Okay, and the second cost-effective eye cream you wanna introduce is the Youth Age Hyaluron Eye Cream. As the name suggests, there are eight different types of hyaluronic acids in here and keratins that help you prevent moisture loss and it's really hydrating. Um, do you have like oily skin or dry skin? Um, I'm kind of uh, combination. A combination, mm. okay. Well, I have extremely dry skin. Wow. So for me, the gold eye cream felt so nice and super moisturizing, but this one, I mm. say it would be good for people like you with combination skin or oily skin because it's lighter. Mm. But yeah, should we give it a go? Should we open it? Okay. Mm, very giving me summer vibes. It's fresh, it's yeah, blue. It looks very fresh. Okay. I think the texture is lighter than the before one. Definitely lighter yeah. than the gold one. Mm. But it's still equally as moisturizing. I think this one is more moisturizing. Oh, you think it's, it's more? Yeah, I think. Ooh, the smell. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells like the gold one smells more flowery. Mm. This one smells more like clean, fresh. But look at that. I think I think this one is also like very um, cost effective. So I think we can use it for whole face as well. Yeah, definitely. Just like the gold one. Yeah. So a couple months back, I had a very interesting encounter. Mm -hmm. I went to a dermatologist to have to get my skin treated. Yeah. And it turns out that clinic also specialized in getting your eye bags removed. And I was so shocked because there was a lot of people, like younger people than me, actually getting that procedure done. Have you heard of it? Um, actually, in Korea now, it's like a trend. Mm. Um, late 30s, they get start um, to have some surgeries for um, remove fat and um, wrinkles on yeah. their, underneath the eye area and also the skin lift for um, especially for eye area. Wow. Yeah, so I was really curious about this and while I was waiting, I saw like the before and after photos. Yeah, and I was so shocked because... So different. <laughs> so different. <laughs> it just makes a world's difference of just seeing like, oh, with eye bags or without eye bags mm -hmm. and wrinkles as well. I guess this is why, like they say, when you're in your 20s, you have to start taking care of your eyes mm -hmm. to prevent such procedures. Just keep in mind, get the right eye products mm -hmm. for your eyes. It doesn't have to be expensive or priced. Get the right things for your eyes so you can prevent these procedures. I think that's really important. So apart from eye cream, there's other ways to prevent wrinkles. For example, sunscreen is my personal favorite. I put it on religiously, even if it's on a rainy day. And yeah, are there other methods that you use to prevent wrinkles? Um, of course, for sunscreen as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I heard that cleansing is also the very important uh, steps of your makeup. Yeah, definitely. So make sure there's no dirt or residue around your face, like especially before going to bed. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have a clean face and a hydrated face as well. And yeah, yeah, remember guys, uh, just because something is expensive and has name value doesn't mean it's always effective. So look out for those ingredients guys, what we mentioned and visit this video again just to make sure uh, that you're buying the right eye cream and that it's cost effective, why not? Yeah, that's all we have for today and we hope to see you next time at SMV TV. Bye! Bye.